Hey everyone, this is Justetech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will talk about the MacBook with a T2 chips. Yes, you heard it right. This video is something different from my other videos. Like in this video, I will talk about the activation lock screen bypass on the MacBook with the T2 chips. Also, you can do the passcode or a pin unlock. Also, if you have a BIOS EFI lock, you can easily bypass it with a tool I will show you in the later part. And the best part about this process is that it's easy and fast and built on the ramdisk method and that is backend with a checkmate exploit so all the macbook models that having the t2 chip are supported also there are no jailbreak required so the latest ibris 7 is also supported if you already know that t2 chip also having the checkmate jailbreak compatibility but for the lower ibris support like 6 and lower but for the above that are having the ibris support latest you cannot jailbreak with the checkmate but by this method you can inject the ramdisk method and easily do the bypass on the activation lock screen EFI pin BIOS. So in short, there are lots of new things I want to talk about and show you the practical process. So now without taking more time, let me just go to my computer screen and start this process. Alright now the first thing you need to download the HFZ latest T2 Activator 1.0 at your source MacBook. So the MacBook that are working, you can install it the HFZ Activator and after that you can inject the RAM disk to the locked MacBook. The latest version is 1.0 at the moment. If in future the new version will come, it will directly update in the same mega directory so you can download the latest version whenever you see the video. So once you have downloaded, simply install it. Now here is the latest HFZ activator T2 Hello Untethered 1.0. So you need to install that on your running Mac. After that you need to connect your running Mac to your locked Mac. So two Macs are required in this process. You can use the Type-C cable to connect both the Macs and after that you can proceed. Now next after you connect both the Macs, first you need to put the DFU mode on the MacBook that is locked and you need to install the latest iBridge support with the Apple Configurator software. So you can use it very easily. You need to connect the Macs, put the MacBook into the DFU mode that is locked one. You can try the DFU mode with the different MacBook models like MacBook Air Pro, iMac Mini. So you can Google it. You will get some information like how you can put the MacBook into the DFU mode. And after that, open the Apple Configuration software and install the latest iBridge support. And then you are ready to use the tool. And if you are still facing the issue while doing the DFU mode stuff on the MacBook, just go through this article in that there are different models showing how to put the DFU mode on their T2 Mac. After that, download the latest iBridge support. Once you have downloaded, you will see this kind of screen. Now next, you need to go to the recovery screen, but do not connect Wi-Fi with the Mac. Just leave that and go to the HFZ tool and click on activate. After that, tool will activate your device. But before using the tool, you need to register your ECID number also. So copy the ECID after you put your device into the DFU mode and connect your Mac, your ECID will show or in the normal mode. So tool will detect the ECID. Just send that ECID to me. You can contact me on my other social media handles or you can contact me on my Telegram. Send the ECID and I will register your device. For the prices for the registration, the ECID, I will display on the screen so you can check that. And if you are a reseller and you want better price, you can check out the reseller price also. And if you want to know more about the Mac supported models like MacBook Pro, 2018 to 2020 macbook air 2018 to 21 macbook mini macbook pro imac pro so you can check out all the model list on the screen and after that you can register so now all set we have registered the device and show you the supported model list i will also show you how you can prepare your initial mac to dfu and to prepare for the bypass now let's see the practical process on both the macs so just follow it and see how it's work now just press the button combination to put your Mac into the DFU mode. Next open the Apple Configurator app and install the latest iBridge on the normal Mac. Now you can see it start installing. Now wait for it to get complete. And if you don't have the latest Apple Configurator, you can install it from the App Store.
Now once it getting complete you will see the updating bar on the locked MacBook with the Apple logo and you will see the Apple configurator will be completed. Now the latest iBridge OS is installed so Apple configurator work is done. Now you can close that. After that you will see your Mac is in the DFU mode and black screen. Now open the HFZ activator, register your ECID and click on the hello activate button. And make sure your Mac is in the proper DFU mode and after that click on the hello activate button and wait for it to get complete. Now you will see the FS mounted that means the partition is mounted. Now wait for your device to complete activate. Now you can see the bypass is done and you will see the MacBook is on the black screen. Wait for a minute after that you will see a sound or Apple logo. If it's not done just click on the power button and after that click on the command plus R to go in the internet recovery. Now it's here you will see this globe after the internet recovery. Now just connect with the Wi-Fi and proceed further to download all the required files.
Now once the internet recovery installation is done, you will see the Apple logo with updating bar. That means your Mac is setting up. So just wait for it to get complete. And here we are on the setup screen. Simply select the country language after that proceed further. Next go to the disk utility, select the main drive, then erase it and go to the default settings and create the partition. You can create the default settings and after that simply install the new OS from the start. Now once the final step is done, your OS will be installed on your MacBook and it will load up normally and after that you can use your MacBook normally. So that is how you can use the HFZ T2 activator and easily bypass your MacBook with a T2 chip. For the Hello Screen Bypass and EFI, you can follow the same process. For the Mac with the pin or passcode, I will make the separate video later. So that is all for this video. I hope you gained some knowledge and if you like my content, just hit the like button and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel for more cool updates. I will see you in the next video. So till then, goodbye, take care and peace out.